What's the biggest myth in real estate? Some of you guys have seen that old show Mythbusters where they take a popular myth, break it down, show that it's not really true. Well, hey, we're going to give you the real estate version of that today. Michael Baird here with the Baird Team Home Sales CO. Look, the biggest myth in real estate, as far as we've seen, is that you have to put 20% down to buy a home. I can't tell you how many clients we talk to who say, hey, I'd love to buy a home in such and such area, but you know what? I don't have 20% to put down, so I'm going to put it off. I'm going to keep renting. I'm going to keep living in parents' basement, whatever it is. Well, hey, that is a myth. Fortunately for a lot of us out there, that's a myth. You don't have to put 20% down. There are a ton of different loan options that allow you to put less than 20% down to get into a home, especially now take advantage of the good rates. I uh, just want to run over a couple of those with you here. Uh, we'll, we'll put some information in the notes, but first, if you're a veteran, there's VA loan, 0% down, always a great interest rate, uh, usually lower than interest rate on any other loan. Uh, one of the benefits, thank you for your service, first of all, if you're a veteran. One of the benefits of being a veteran is you get access to a VA loan, 0% down, great interest rate, absolutely a good option. So if you're a veteran, that's the number one thing you should look for. Um, if you're looking to buy in a rural area, uh, here in Colorado at least, we have USDA loans. It, it's a government-backed loan for rural areas. It is also 100% financing, so zero money down on that one. Um, it, not all areas qualify for it. You couldn't buy a condo in Denver with the USDA loan, but if you're looking more out towards Brighton, out a little bit on the outskirts of town, good chance that you'd be able to use a USDA loan. Ne next, we'll look at FHA, which is 3.5% down. Interest rates are great right now on FHA loans, so you're only having to put 3.5% down. So if you're buying that $500,000 house, rather than having to put 100% down, I'm sorry, 100,000 down, you're only having to put, what, about 18,000 down. So huge difference there if you're looking to put 20% down as compared to 3.5% down. Uh, next is CHAFA. It, it's a, a leg of FHA where it's a grant program. So if you make under a certain amount, you can apply for a grant through CHAFA and it's going to pay a lot of your down payment. We've seen clients have to come with as little as a thousand or two thousand dollars down if they're using CHAFA. So when you change your paradigm from thinking that you're going to have to put 20% down, which is a huge number, to thinking, man, I could only put a thousand or two thousand down, it, it makes home ownership a lot more attainable. Uh, also, conventional loans, obviously, you can do 20% down conventional loans, but there are lenders and options where you can do. Some lenders have a 1% down conventional, 3% down, 5% down. So when you really look into it, let's bust that myth of we have to put 20% down to buy a home. It, it limits a lot of us. It makes it home ownership a lot less attainable. Um, you could be saving up for a long time to get that 20% down. And like right now, the interest rates are really good. But if rates go up and it's four years by the time you save that 20%, you could end up paying a lot more than you really should for a home. So take advantage of good interest rates, take advantage of a good market now, and look into some of those, <clears throat> excuse me, look into some of those lower down payment options and know that you don't have to put 20% down to buy a home. And that is one myth that we busted today. We'll look into some more real estate myths at a later time, but that is our number one real estate myth as far as we're concerned. Don't have to put 20% down. There's a lot of ways for you to get into a home. If you have any questions, all our info is below. We'd be happy to talk to you about that. Any loan options, get you in touch with some great lenders that can help go over that with you and let you know what might work for you. Anyway, Michael Baird here with the Baird team. Hope everybody has a good day and we will talk to you next time.